Ryzen 5 3600 replaces 2018's Ryzen 5 2600, bringing even more performance and options to the mid-range CPU market. It sits just below the Ryzen 5 3600X, which is essentially a slightly faster version of the same processor. In today's video, we are going to review AMD Ryzen 5 3600, so let's get started. Features and chipset While the update from the Ryzen 5 1600 to the Ryzen 5 2600 may have been iterative, the Ryzen 5 3600 is a bigger leap thanks to AMD's Zen 2 architecture. The shift moves the CPU from a 12 in a manufacturing process onto a 7 in process, which lets AMD improve efficiency, boost instructions per clock, or a PC and push up the clock speeds. It makes these leaps all while staying in the Ryzen 5 2600 same 65 WTDP helping push performance. Further along, are increases to the memory immediately available to the processor cores. AMD has bumped up the cache with 384 KD of loan, 3 MB of L2, and 32 MB of L3 cache the same as that found in the Ryzen 5 3600X. That lump of cache can have an impact in both system responsiveness as well as gaming performance. The Ryzen 5 3600 also makes the move to the X570 chipset which comes with support for the new PCIe 4.0 standard. This offers a big bump in bandwidth for PCIe SSDs and AMD latest Navi graphics cards. Performance In general performance, the Ryzen 5 3600 shows that it's a more modest processor than other Ryzen 3000 series chips, but it still has some gusto that can compete in some ways with even the Intel Core i7 8700K. Predictably, the Ryzen 5 3600 lands just shy of the 3600X in both single and multi-core performance, though its performance in our handbrake benchmark saw it offer a close match for the X variant. That said, its performance is still strong. It trades blows with the 6-core-slash-12-thread Intel Core Ison 8086K, outpacing it in the Cinebench R15 multi-core test and nearly tying in single-core speeds. It falls short of the Core Ison 8086K and Geekbench 4 single-core test, but jumps up with that chip in the multi-core test. Another nice piece of its performance is efficiency. Thanks to the shift to the 7M process, the Ryzen 5 3600 manages a substantially lower level of power draw under load than the Intel Core i7 8086K and Core i7 8700K, which hit 110.68W and 100.63W, respectively. Meanwhile, the Ryzen 5 3600 pulled just 86.17W from the wall in our testing, where the Ryzen 5 3600 really shows its metal is in gaming, with some results that even stomp on the big boys. Running Total War, Warhammer Roman 2 at 1080 on our test system, which uses an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 tie. The Ryzen 5 3600 managed a 78th minimum and 101th average, well, this is my observation with this particular model. Maybe you've experienced something different. So, it would be a pleasure if you share yours in the comment section below for the rest of the viewers. Thank you for watching this video. Wish you a great day.